when I tell you I never want to move again. Oh! Problem number one. The delivery guys are here. They are not allowed to use the elevator. My unit is on third floor. So, they can't use the elevator. The truck is too big to come inside the complex. So now we are sitting waiting for the delivery company to bring a small bucky that we can load the stuff and the bucky can come inside the complex closer to my unit. Sana. Let me tell you guys a joke. We requested for the Bucky to come at about half past one, but it, they, it will arrive at half past two. Now it is quarter to four. The Bucky is only getting here at quarter to four. What is problem number two? After four o'clock, we are not allowed to move in and out, to move furniture in and out. Now, I have 15 minutes for them to do this. I don't know what kind of magic they're going to pull to offload all my furniture and get it into my unit in 15 minutes when i tell you my problems are many kesana many problems If it is your first time here, my name is Lolly Serungwa and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back darling. If you've not subscribed, please, please, please do subscribe. And welcome to all my new subscribers. Um, I'm so excited to have you guys on the channel. Yay. <laughs> I don't know why my eyes red, child. I don't know, I think I, um, a hint of sunscreen touched my eye. It's so loud. Let me close the sliding door. Okay. I hope that's better. So, just an update on yesterday yesterday went okay um because the truck had been standing outside for like three hours waiting for the bucky when the bucky arrived at quarter to four the security allowed them to obviously offload everything because they had been waiting the whole day so um they were quite lenient i was so like grateful because they can be a tough bunch to crack but they were also kind so I was glad so yeah now there's just boxes and boxes and boxes that i need to unpack and the removal company called me this morning checking if everything arrived safely and if anything was damaged and then they told me i have five days to unpack and report any damages five days so that's fine it's october's starting tomorrow on sunday is it when is the first i think the first is sunday yeah um so yeah i think i will that will be like the first couple of my vlogtober videos just me unpacking and sort of placing things um yeah yeah literally so today i want to go and 
look for curtains i don't think i'll buy them today but i just want to go look the railings here are rod railings and my curtains that i have are the normal curtains with the hooks so now i need to buy one two three three sets of curtains that are rod because it's only rod things in this house should have thought of that when i was viewing the places but there were so many other factors you guys i struggled so much to find a place here um yeah i really really struggled so i feel like even for this place i was like settling but it was the closest thing i could get to what i wanted and decent enough so i don't know man we're just gonna have to make it work and um yeah let me but firstly i'm so hungry it's like one o'clock i've not eaten literally since i woke up so i'm gonna go grab lunch somewhere down the road there's a few restaurants and then um then we'll go to the shops and try and look for curtains and there's a few things that i need to use like right now but they're all in the box and i can't like just open all the box now so i'm just gonna get that stuff in the shops as well so let's go hey guys um it is a new day today yesterday i went to the shops and yo i hate going to the mall on a saturday like it's so busy it was so packed i got really really overwhelmed by the queues and i left before buying some of the things that i wanted to buy <clears throat> but um and then when i came home i was so tired i went to bed at eight o'clock literally eight o'clock i passed out and i woke up at seven this morning so i had a good night's sleep i have a headache now for some reason i don't know why but i want to show you guys what i got at the shops yesterday and then i also managed to unpack like two three boxes last night because i needed to get my bedding out so i unboxed the boxes with my bedding so my bed is made i also um what else did i unpack like like the microwave the big stuff is like on so today what i want to do is pack the kitchen with you guys so i need to first find the box with the lapis so i can wipe the sheet um well wipe the cupboards I got someone to come and clean before I moved in, but I just want to wipe the cupboards once again before I put my stuff in there. Let me show you what I got from the shops yesterday. <clears throat> so, um, I got these loafers. I got these loafers from Ackermans. If you know me, you know I love loafers, and I I saw Homozo. She I think she bought um a white pair, so she got a white pair and she said she got them from Ackerman. So I ran, honey, and they were hundred and hundred and eighty. Love, love, love them, guys. My one toxic trait is that I will have one item, like one item. Of something until it literally wears off i have one black pair of loafers and i love them so much and i wear them everywhere so now i just want to like diversify and get different makes and different colors so that's why i got those and then i just got um secret socks to go along with the loafers and they were 60 rand and then i went to clicks which was a scam my darling because i spent two million rand it was definitely a scam but um i got pocket tissue because i needed it i didn't have any um i'm going back to using my cetaphil this is the one that i use acne prone for acne prone skin i had tried out acne or something and i don't know but my skin was going through its own things but this is the one i got because i've got really oil skin really oily skin so this one removes excess oil that's the foam wash i've got the lotion 
then i bought a toner as well for three million rand <laughs> i got the userin toner it's gonna be my first time trying it i want to see how it goes so that's the one and then i got uh this mousse for my curly wig and i need like something to base my hair as well so i got shea butter native child shea butter and i bought this got to be glued mini little glue thing because honestly i don't know how to do an install i'm going to try with my bob wig that i have it doesn't i don't have to install it it's a glueless wig but i just want to try with this so that's why i bought this and then oh for my skin as well i also bought this garnier vitamin c which i've not used before as well so we're gonna give this a try let's see how that goes and i needed this um matte compact powder this is the one that i use i don't use the one with color so this literally like blends with your complexion oh girl don't drop and then finally i bought this foot peel uh from sobey well i bought it at clicks but it's the sobey brand and it's summer guy well it's spring or whatever season we're in it's spring and now i'm starting to wear sandals so i've been wearing sneakers and loafers throughout the past couple of months so i just want to peel my feet do a little soak up and be sandal ready so that when i wear sandals they are not looking ashy okay so that's what i got from the shops yesterday now let's um try and find the lapis and stuff that i need in one of these boxes and um let's yeah let's unbox some few boxes and pack them This box only has things that need to be packed. It doesn't have um, my dish cloths and all of that. So I'm going to open another kitchen box. Yay. So this one has the stuff that I need, which is like the clean stuff. And the lucky this is exactly what i was looking for and yeah oh yes and i need this to put in all the um, things i need to throw away so yeah
realizing now that my stove is a whole smag like this is definitely a sign for me to buy my smeg kettle i mean it's definitely a sign guys please for my housewarming which i won't be having kekopaling rekeling smeg a smeg kettle for starters then the rest we'll see later but hello this is definitely a sign i need to kit my kitchen up with a smeg also i want to tell you guys something that i'm not really impressed with this kitchen it's very very small let me just give you an idea of how small it is i'm done cleaning the cupboards so i've just left them open to dry but anyway one two three four that's it at the top at least they've got shelves and i can put more stuff in in the shelves and then as you come in the door then you've got the zinc space for a dishwasher then you've got that little pantry cupboard then you have the drawers the stove and this last cupboard and look at how uncomfortable my microwave is sitting it's okay i guess but you can tell like there's no space so it's small and then the fridge is like sitting there and this is literally it like that is my entire kitchen i had to make a decision between a small bedroom or a small kitchen so obviously i went with a small kitchen because i needed a bedroom not a big bedroom but enough for at least my bed to fit and still have space for me to walk in and out of the room so yeah moving into a new place will have you question what matters like what what is it that you do you prefer a big kitchen small kitchen a small bedroom big bedroom small living room big living room whatever i had to make those decisions and they were not easy but for now this will have to do sana it's gonna have to do because i was definitely not going for a small bedroom <laughs> is done we're done with one box but like guys oh these covers are so small so the wine glasses can't fit here so i put them there at the back the plates are okay i think for the cups i should take out the boxes that will make more space okay yeah i'm gonna try to take out the boxes and then put them as they are okay i think that looks better yeah i think that definitely looks better my problem is these boxes but also let me tell you this move net this relocation has definitely taught me um the mover has definitely taught me to let go of things one of my and i will admit my toxic toxic traits is that i'm a hoarder i will hold on to things for no reason like why do i still have this packaging guys why do i still have this packaging well it looks cute actually i liked it because it looks cute in the boxes but like now it's not make sure so i'm gonna let go of the boxes <laughs> i'm so sad but i'm gonna let go of the boxes yeah. i managed to unpack another box and it's like just after six now and it's enough unpacking for the day i'm tired that's day one of unpacking i'm proud of myself we did two boxes today and tomorrow's another day um so yeah i'm gonna end this vlog here
and then we'll continue from tomorrow thank you so much for watching if you've watched this far really really do appreciate it and um yeah i will see you guys um on the next video i'm excited about vlogtober because i'm like hyping myself up i'm hyping myself up so i'll see you on the next vlog thanks for watching bye